Hey guys, what's up? Um, my name's AK. You might not remember me, but I actually used to be on this channel a lot before, you know, Chris showed up. I heard we might actually be changing the name of this channel to Chris D Financial Entertainment, which is, you know, it's it's fine. It's, it's, it's all good. <laughs> No, 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 but uh, you know, I, I still have value. Like in this video, we're gonna talk about Jesse Livermore and psychology and over trading. And I'm gonna read you Jesse Livermore quotes because you know, not many people can do that. Not many people can read, but AK can. And value is what I provide. No, I'm kidding. Chris has been doing a great job on the channel and it's really helping me out because I'm working on a lot of other stuff for you guys that is coming soon. And I'm glad you guys like Chris because I like him too. And as you can see, he's pretty smart and he does have a lot more experience than me. So it helps having him on the channel and that's why we have him creating courses too like a lot of you guys were asking about how to back test because i always talk about the all-stars right that's already back tested for you but some of you want to do it yourself create your own system so chris that's why he created the course the back testing master class which by the way is closing tonight at midnight eastern time so if you haven't checked it out yet make sure you go to this link that i'll put up above and down below in the comments and description because he's teaching you how to do all the back testing and all the system building from zero to a successful profitable system it's a pretty great course and it's exactly what you guys asked for so i got it for you see ak has value i'm not insecure but okay let's jump into some lessons from livermore one of the greatest traders who ever lived and if you haven't read reminiscences of a stock operator definitely go read that because that's where all this wisdom comes from he is the original market wizard and of course you know i'm going to use this article from our company macro ops because it's phenomenal so okay we got livermore on patience psychology and the dangers of over trading so here's a quote from him it sounds very easy to say that all you have to do is watch the tape establish your resistance points and be ready to trade along the line of least resistance as soon as you have determined it but in actual practice a man has to guard against many things and most of all against himself that is against human nature you guys know i talk about trading psychology all the time because what good trading comes down to is execution can you execute and the main thing in the way of your execution is yourself and that monkey brain and jesse livermore understands that more than anybody because he has lost huge huge force his entire life savings hundreds of millions of dollars and that was back in like the 1920s so it was like way more than what 100 million is today and he lost it and gained it back multiple times and i think he was actually severely depressed throughout his life so he had really bad mood swings so for him it was even worse so when he was feeling good he did really really well in the market and when he was feeling bad he did horrible losing everything so like i said he really knows what he's talking about and there's another quote from one of my favorite market wizards ed sakota he's such a weird guy but this is one of my favorite favorite trading quotes too. He says that I think if people look deeply enough into their trading patterns, they find that on balance, including all their goals, they're really getting what they want, even though they may not understand it or want to admit it. And the short version of that is that everyone gets what they want out of the market. See, like true trading, like professional level trading, it's not super fun or something. It's tedious and boring. It's just a lot of sitting and waiting. Even if you're a day trader, there's only going to be a few trades throughout the day that you're going to take and actually make money on. The rest of the time you're sitting there and waiting and of course the wait periods change depending on what time frame you're working on if you're warren buffett then yeah you're waiting a long long time but the main thing that stays constant between every strategy is that yes you need patience but a lot of people come into the market looking for excitement so that's exactly what they get out of the market which is what ed zakota was saying because then they start doing all the stupid stuff taking this trade that trade trying to get on this quick up move and then quickly short it and they face a lot of volatility they get a lot of losses sometimes they have a huge win and they can turn the market into a casino but they're getting what they want right the entertainment other people and i'm sure you've seen them on the message boards twitter seeking alpha they barely even trade they might have a small position on but they will spend 24 hours a day arguing about tesla just debating 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 because that's what they want out of the market but the point if you're a professional trader in the markets is what to make profit right it's not to please your ego it's not to have fun it can be fun but that's you know not the main goal because the main goal is to profit now, of course, it sounds obvious when I'm just listing off all these things, but the truth is, like Ed Sakota said, is that most people don't understand what's actually driving them. So if you ask someone, hey, why are you in the market? Of course, they're going to say, make money, stupid. When in fact, they might be trying to do something else, impress their friends, satisfy their ego, whatever it is, it's not actually making money. So Livermore actually talks about this a bit, and he talks about how it causes people to overtrade. So he says, there's the plain fool who does the wrong thing at all times everywhere, but there's also the Wall Street fool. And he's the one who 
who thinks he must trade all the time. No man can always have adequate reasons for buying or selling stocks daily, or sufficient knowledge to make his play in an intelligent play. The desire for constant action, irrespective of underlying conditions, is responsible for many losses on Wall Street, even among the professionals, who feel that they must take home some money every day, as though they were working for regular wages. Remember this, when you're doing nothing, those speculators who feel they must trade day in and day out, they're laying the foundation for your next venture. You will reap the benefits from their mistakes. So really, Livermore is kind of bringing up two different points here. The first is what we talked about already. Someone looking for action, of course, they're going to be over trading just so they can get that action. They're getting what they want. But then there's also people who don't actually understand how markets work. You know, they treat it like a regular job. They think they should be pulling the same amount of money out of the market each week. That's not how it works. Like the market distributes returns unevenly. Now, over the long term, if you look at your results of a strategy that's sound, yeah, you might be able to break it down being like, OK, I make this much a month. But that's only for some strategies. And it's not going to be every single month because it's not a paycheck. That's not how the market does it. The game of speculation is very, very different from any other job, unless you are like a professional gambler, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And as Livermore said, the people who are over trading and don't understand how the market works, well, they're providing the profits for the rest of us. They're the suckers. Don't be a sucker. It's not fun. So to prevent over trading, Livermore says that it's better to be a little late than a little early. So he said, don't take action with a trade until the market itself confirms your opinion. Being a little late in the trade is insurance that your opinion is correct. In other words, don't be an impatient trader. You're much better off under trading than over trading because over trading is the number one problem most newer traders have. Even experienced traders, you still get that itch to make the trade when you shouldn't. You get bored. Really, all traders should just have YouTube channels, you know, to just keep them busy. And actually, I think that might be already happening with the amount of junk that's being uploaded on YouTube every day. But you know, that's a different story. So here's another quote where Livermore once again stresses how important it is to be able to control yourself. He says the human side of every person is the greatest enemy of the average investor or speculator. Fear keeps you from making as much money as you ought to. Wishful thinking must be banished. So again, self-control and controlling your emotions is so important, even in systems trading, because say you created a system, right? You back tested it. Everything looks great. Well, when you actually make that system go live with your live money and you start trying to execute it, things can go really wrong. So Chris, before he built this course, you know, he's worked with a lot of traders and he'd have these groups where you'd have like five different traders all executing the exact same system. They're taking the same signal, same management, same everything. But the results of each one of those people were completely different. All their back tests were the same. All the strategies were the same. It should have been the same. But the problem was the execution because the execution is where things get a little wild with the emotions and people start seeing things. You know, some guys might be over trading and that's why the results can vary so much. So in this systems building course that I was telling you about that Chris just made, the back testing course, one of the big lessons in that course is how to go from back testing to actual live trading. Because like I just said, things can go wrong wrong in the real time execution. So he outlines the steps right here. Like what you first start doing is practice paper trading that system in real time before you even put your real money into it. And remember, this is after it's already back tested. You know, there's an edge. Then while you're paper trading, that's where you can identify where your weaknesses are in the actual execution. So you end up monitoring your performance over a period of time, identify those weaknesses, fix them, and then you create that plan to actually go live. But once you go live, you only start out with a small amount of money because things can still go wrong because you know, paper trading is not the same as live money. Live money is really where your emotions kick up because paper is paper. So you still start small and then you start to scale up slowly because the whole time you got to monitor that performance and make sure you're hitting what you need to hit. Make sure the system is performing and you're executing properly. So that's a big, big part of systems building that people don't understand. And that's why Chris includes it in his course. And that's only one part, you know, he also gives you all the tools on how to conduct your first proper back test. So the actual system building, and he does that with the 30, 30, 30 method. And that's a cool name. Then you start getting into different systems for different market regimes, because we talked about this before, right? There's three main market regimes. Well, two markets are either trending or they're mean reverting. And then the third is when you don't really know what it's doing. It's the two hard bucket. You stay away from it. So in the course, Chris goes over that and how you kind of build a system for each one of those regimes. And he also goes into like how your personality should match what kind of system you're trading, because a guy who likes to trade trends might not be the same type of guy who can trade mean reversion. Well, it's just your own biases. So you kind of work with them. Some you fix, some you kind of just go with. You know, some people like chocolate ice cream, some people like vanilla. I don't know why I said vanilla like that, but it's the same concept, kind of. And he actually hooks you up with three systems in the course too that he uses that are already successful. So he's got his fail breakout system, which is basically the mean reversion system. He's got his volatility breakout system, which is the trending system. And then he also has a third system, the hammer and star system.
system. Where this one I'm not as familiar with, but I'm pretty sure he's profiting off reversals. So he hooks you up with pre-made systems and teaches you how to trade it so that you can use that as a base. So you know there's already an edge because another tough part about building a system is actually finding an edge that you can exploit in the market, right? So this way he gives you three, you can pick the one that matches with your personality and start trading with it. And then because you actually know how to build a system and back test, you start adjusting it. So you kind of customize it to your personality. You might combine things from separate systems, but eventually you'll have your own thing that works best for you. So it's a pretty awesome course and it's actually closing tonight. So if you're interested in that, definitely click the link up above or down below in the description and comments to learn more. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you take the course and you're like, nah, systems aren't for me, or you're not really vibing with it, whatever the reason is, we'll just give you your money back. Whole point is to make it really low risk for you to try. I mean, we're pretty sure you're going to love it, but you know, it's nice to have the money back guarantee. So definitely check that out. Remember it closes tonight at midnight. Then it's going to be gone for, you know, like a while, probably another quarter. I haven't figured that out yet because we got other non-system stuff coming too. So if you're a systems trader or want to be a systems trader, definitely take advantage of this now. So again, click those links, go check it out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. So you get email notifications when our new videos come out. We publish almost every day, like maybe six days a week. Who are you going to see in the next video? Is it going to be Chris? Is it going to be me? I don't know. It's a surprise every time. Chris D financial entertainment. Great channel. So happy I get to make a video once in a while. No, I'm, I'm kidding. But subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Stay fallible out there. Bye.